Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is back. Ooh. I finished a set of things that I wanted to do today, and I have other things to do uh, in, a, in a few. So I want to go ahead and do a second part to, um, ooh, let's see what I titled it. It was beautiful morning. Uh, outside is it's bearable outside. It's just in here, in this uh, studio, where the air is not flowing as I ho hope it would. Okay, so it was called, um, you know, Strong Language to Those Who Are Innately Inclined. And this is going to be part two. And I was telling you a story about, you know, I, I put it in the description of that first video. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Let me just title these things properly. Um, I put it in the first, what I was, I started talking about two extra, uh, ETs, we call them ETs. Some people call them foreigners. Some people call them this, call them that. And I was telling you about two females from another planet, along with many, many others, are here, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, helping with a mission. And the mission concludes, actually, in the year 3999. But there's a crucial part of it that has a... Um, a culmination and that's the February 3rd 2029 okay so there's these two females extraterrestrials that are highly highly advanced and I told you they're on this planet working and doing what they got to do and they're in plain sight you know no one's going to ever know who they are and who they were maybe down the line in the distant distant future when you're able to time travel back here if you choose to, or if you have some type of uh, electronic device that can see the past, the now, and the future, or, or the future, now, whatever, those kind of technologies do exist on other planets. But unfortunately, our planet is not going to even get barely out of, if ever, and doubtful, get out of our soul system. We're not getting out of our soul system anytime soon. Again, some people uh, are going to be sitting around waiting when this planet is about to be destroyed, thinking someone's coming to save them. Okay, yeah, that's to remind me. I got a, a meeting at, in a few. So I just wanted to say those particular females are highly advanced females working with the mission to save this planet from total, total collapse and destruction and unfortunately we failed collectively and that has a lot to do with the encasement of negative and criminal energy and so many people are involving themselves in that and had no clue that they were or possibly they did know they knew look we know we know right from wrong no matter what anyone says and that's what I said uh, when people say please forgive them for they know not what they do okay that's a that's that's expired that's no longer relevant. Okay, because some people know what they are doing. They know they're involved in criminal energy. They know it. Okay, and it has a lot. And it's several group of people doing it, by the way. That's why it's encased. And that's why it's so, that's why it's so uh, fortified. Because so many different groups of people are dealing with criminal energy. Some of you are unknowingly dealing in it and don't realize that you're in it. I told you, the women, innately inclined women are doing that. They're destroying themselves. A lot of it has to do with jealousy and envy. And it's, it's possibly from a, uh, what do we call heterosexual feminine women? Because heterosexual feminine women had, some of them have intense, acute, uh, criminal energy of jealousy and envy of other females. Okay. And it's usually over a man that can care less about either one of you. But at the same time, that's where a lot of it is festering. Uh, you're not going to see it so much with the, um, you know, the, the, the quote-unquote lesbians. You may find it with the, 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 the bisexuals. But, and then, you know, then you have trans, uh, transgender, which is another, is another, le another level of, of um, uh, underdevelopment, meaning that you are just low, you're in a lower vibrational 
frequency, which has nothing to do about anything but, like I said, it's like being a kindergarten kindergartener or someone in elementary school attempting to take on scientific um, endeavors. And some kids can, some, you know, and a lot of people going to research stuff and, and call these, you know, unfortunately calling them geniuses. No, they're not geniuses. They just are highly developing their consciousness, but they're still human beings and they have to be treated as such, not be special, you know, because they, you know, we all think they're geniuses, you know, and I'm put a video out on that. That's, that's causing more harm than good. And most kids that when they are considered geniuses, they get used by adults, no matter what anyone says. Okay, these geniuses children want to be with other children. They can care less about whether they're a genius or not. And the thing is, is these young kids can teach their peers in their age range how to be more developed. They're just developed. Okay, but they're they're here to help elementary school children like themselves, not help adults and enrich adults and make adults feel good and be but all they're doing is using these children separating them and using them okay i've said that so we need to get over this delusion and hallucination about geniuses okay it's irrelevant it means nothing and to be testing people on their iq and all of that garbage it's garbage garbage in garbage out so that's why uh that's why there's so much catastrophes ahead for us with artificial intelligence all right so again those two females from another planet one was on another planet handling some business and one was here and they were able to communicate with each other they were able to have a, a, a and they're still doing it have full-blown conversations with each other I know a lot of you have this um, belief that you are uh, you see it as um, power over people instead of power neutralize power among all of us if we if you are developed enough which some of you are some of you do not realize that you're dealing in criminal energy though so that's where you are running in you're going to run into a catastrophe again and then you're going to be lost forever okay lost souls forever so this female on another planet can talk to the, the female here on this planet. I think it's via tele, tele, telepathic, of course. But some of them, because they're so advanced, can just speak out. You can be having a conversation. Like, I'm having a conversation right now. I can be having a conversation with someone on another planet. I, saw, I talked about that before. And I'm not going to go into that because it's already been misused. I mean, in other words... It's become delusional and hallucination and it's not really existing because the people who claim that they can do it are not either not developed properly or they're misusing their their consciousness powers and abilities which is extremely extremely dangerous and it causes them to be arrogant cocky know-it-alls and dangerous okay and usually um, um, you know, and so I'm going to go st stick with the women. I'll let the men come forward, the biological men come forward and talk to the biological men if you choose to. That's on you. I'm talking to the, the, the biological females of the, you know, with the feminine energy. So in other words, they can have conversations back and forth from one planet to the other. We, we can do that. We will do that eventually, some of us. But a lot of us are not going to be doing that you know, on this planet. I'm not going to say any more about that. I've said enough about that because this planet is, um, it's not going to be conducive around the year 39999, 3999 for those of you that are, have this higher level of consciousness. This planet is not going to be conducive for you to live. So, but we, you know, if, if this planet makes it there and we, and we, and a lot of us ought to be you know, if if this planet makes it to three nine nine nine. All right. So my point is that our powers and, and our powers and abilities have been so um, so interfered with, so contaminated 
and hacked and all that. For it, and This has been going on for thousands of years because there's an element of criminal energy who are not there. They know that certain people have certain powers and capabilities and they know, I told you about that one man, they know that certain, certain several of us have certain powers and abilities innate, and innately inclined, innately, you know, with these skills and abilities, but they've been misused and they've been criminalized. And so it's uh, mute. In other words, it, it's, a, it's null, null and void because of the interference for a lot of you. It's been severed forever. And you're not going to know who you are until uh, final hours no and void some of your powers and yeah some of your powers and capabilities have been invalid okay canceled unenforceable for a lot of you because because time after time after time you given the a clean slate to do the right thing but yet you keep you keep falling back down on that same frequency, that low vibrational frequency. Personality after personality after personality. Past lives after past lives. After, you know, you you know, as you are passing the baton to your lineage, your future personality, your what you know, future personality, your future per personality is just picking up on the same low vibrational frequency that you've had. From time after time after time. So now we're at these timings and at these moments where it's revealing itself. So some of you are bitter and angry because your powers and capabilities are null and void. And yes, sometimes they do work. You put enough effort in, in, into anything, it works, but then it falls apart. Some of you who claim that you have all these powers and capabilities are lonely and 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 angry, and that's that and and jealous and envy. So that's a combustible amount of energy to be holding on to, you know. And then you call yourself, like I said, psyches or psychics, and you call yourselves, you know, all these all these things. And um, I'm saying to you that you ought to. You know, release yourself from that and allow someone to help you to release yourself from that by being grounded in your reality. Suspend your ego labels, you know, suspend all these powers and capabilities you have and get really honest about what you can and what you cannot do. You are the reason why you think you are getting stuff done or you can make stuff happen with your tarot cards and palm reading is because. You're, you're operating with the same type of criminal energies as billions of other people are. So you, you all are kind of working in sync together. Again, eventually it's going to combust and explode. Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Okay, well, you're going to be unable to escape it. Sounds like something's going on outside. Not sure what it is. So, this is part two. I'm going to just give it in pieces. You know, uh, I give it in pieces. Sometimes, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to make any sense to people that it's not resonating with. Sorry. You know, all you're going to do is swipe, swipe, swipe. And even when it resonates with those that it ought to resonate with, they're going to swipe, swipe, swipe too. They're going to take stuff out of it and use it for their benefit. I mean, you know, once you get on that criminal energy, man, it's hard to come off of it. You don't know how, actually, but you you know you think you're performing certain skills and abilities, and all you're doing is kind of feeding off the rest of that energy. That's in, that, that you're you're feeding off the rest of that uh, encasement of the negativity. Uh, because I and I was going to say something uh, about um, you know, I mean it's just dangerous and it's uh, useless, and you just need to to just. But you, but you can, if you're innately inclined, you can get yourself out of it. But no one has to know. You have to be creative to get yourself out of this, all these card readings and, and be a genuine human being with certain capabilities 
to assist in a positive, a neutral positive fashion. Meaning you don't need to be worried about someone's palms and reading their, you need to decline that. You need to recreate yourself to be a, a guide, a, be a compassionate and with empathy, a guide, not a fortune teller. Okay. You're not a fortune teller. You know, you're just innately inclined. And this is based on thousands of years of experience, which has not been good. Some of you back in the day, uh, your former personalities probably were witches, called themselves witches. A lot of them were murdered too. Okay, a lot of those were women that were murdered. Okay, I mean, and so there's no glory in that. Okay, the glory is in being grounded realistic okay and being wise okay be wise about what you're doing with your energy okay wise and what does that mean what is it let's see what the diction i know what it means you look it up and figure it out on your own and you use some some type of uh it says being uh, able you know having the ability to discern okay crafty is what it says here Wise, to be wise is a lot of uh, trial and error, mistakes, uh, experiences more so than anything. So just uh, showing sound judgment, it says here. Possessing inside information, literally, figuratively, metaphorically. Okay, so let's just, um, just snap out of it. You know what you're supposed to do. You can't fool your consciousness. You know, and, and you really can't fool yourself, but you attempt to. That's how disconnected we are. We attempt to fool ourselves and think, you know, yeah, your beauty does capture a lot of attention. And you know it. But if you're not aligned with that, it's just, it's not, it's going to fail. So that's why a lot of you go through a lot of failed relationships or failed interpersonal relationships. Because you're not aligning yourself naturally. You know, the person that is, you know... In, in most cases, sadly, a lot of alignments have been severed. And you'll know that. You'll know that because you you, you know you don't feel connected to, to anything or to anyone, to the nature, especially. You're not connected to nature. You know, these, um, these natural courses of things. Some people know right away who they are aligned with. You know, and they said it. This is like being struck by lightning. Literally, figuratively, metaphorically, but not that painful type of energy. It's that... That, that neutral positive strike, so to speak. So I'm going to make this part two. I'm going to talk about a lot more of this later. I have some appointments. And I'm going to send peace and love all over stars and moon and mountains. Know what your power is. Uh, know the powers you possess. And attempt to neutralize it. And not uh, use it to take advantage of people. Manipulate people. And attempt to indoctrinate them and hypnotize them. Stand out of the way and let nature help you through all of this, okay, without your interference. Trust me, I'll be back.